Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and thanks for just stopping by uh, on this channel. And today I'm really excited about what I'm gonna share. Um, so I started reading this book called How I Built This by Guy Rice. Um, and um, I wanted to give my initial take on it and um, you know, give uh, some recommendation of what I think of the book and how that will uh, what is what the read and what that shapes the entrepreneurial mindset. You know, one of the initiatives that I'm studying is uh, it's called the Pre-Entrepreneurship School, where wherein we are trying to foster entrepreneurship uh, among people 18 to 40 who just want to understand what entrepreneurship is and how uh, they can start building an entrepreneurial mindset uh, around a business idea or a career path that they love and they, uh, they aspire to, to be and how they want to influence the world moving forward. So books like this is something that um, recently I've been really uh, um, you know, excited to read, but also to share that with the world. So um, just my, I'll give this take of this book in, in, three, in, in three buckets. So one is how practical it is, two, how relatable it is to an average uh, um, you know, person who just, just you know, is excited about, starting something is curious about entrepreneurship. And I think uh, the third one is, does this really translate? Can this actually give you uh, some economic value or profit? Or, um, you know, does it have an economic influence in your life if you have to read this book? Will it actually translate into you making certain decisions that can lead to uh, creating economic value for yourself as well as for your family if you do have one? So uh, the, the, the three um, um, main things is how practical it is how relatable it is, and also, is this something that can actually have an economic value in, in, your, in your life? So it's like three buckets. So uh, I started reading this book about, you know, a few, a few days ago, and I think so far, um, the author is a very, um, you know, he's very practical in his writing. It's, it's not easy to read, and it's actually really fun. So I think the first bucket is, is a, you know, I'll kind of give it, uh, you know, my rate is on 10 for each, um, for each bucket. So I'll kind of give it a 10 on 10 in terms of just how uh, practical it is, because if you, the stories within the book are, are very, uh, you know, um, they give uh, some very tangible steps on how to, to, to actually think of an idea and also how to build an idea, right? Um, and there are, and you know, we'll go to my second point of how relatable it is. You know, it gives um, just how you know it's not just an abstract step-by-step uh, -step process of how to be inspired or you know how to be inspired to become an entrepreneur. But I think there is uh, um, some more um, you know uh, actual steps that you know where you are at the moment. Uh, you can actually follow through based on those shared stories that he was so eloquently uh, able to to um, put in the book, you can actually take your life from that position to, um, to you know, a, a place where you can actually build a successful business. So this this really a uh, very practical, um, 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 you know, um, step-by-step process based on the stories that he shared. And it goes to the second point of, you know, how relatable it is. And I'll still give it, I think I'll give it 10 on 10 as well in this, the stories because these are very, uh, me and you stories although you know he uh you know the book is you know he had access to some really really um you know um you know, successful entrepreneurs that sometimes we don't have you can see the, uh, the connection uh, but i do think he he brings it back to people like you know like you and me uh when we think about can i be an entrepreneur as well and he actually i think it's very effective in you know making that connection between you know someone like um you know the the founder of <clears throat> you know of you know fubu which he 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 kind of mentioned he mentioned the book you can find that 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 uh connection with with him um uh, demon right so he makes it very practical I, I remember this uh there is a story that he talked about uh demon you know just trying to keep fubu alive uh at the early phases of the company and just Think about shutting it down because he didn't think, um, you know, he could um, the, the way the, those the, the runway capital for them to actually get to a point where he was, um, 
you know, um, was able to sustain the company by itself, right? And Damon, the founder of Fubu too, as he mentioned in the book during, during, the, uh, during his interaction with him, he also talked about how um, he was to think of a very good backup plan, right? That if things didn't work out, he had to measure, he actually took a measured risk that he could fall back to a very, to a good job where, you know, wherein he will not, you know, uh, the loss will not, you know, the, the risk of him starting in football will not, you know, um, be a significant loss, um, you know, so he had this job as a back end. So stuff like that, I, I think it shows how uh, practical, practical the book is, which I'll give it a 10 on 10. It also shows how to really the book is, which I'll give it a 10 on 10. In terms of the last bucket, which is providing economic value to you, I do think so far the book can give you uh, an idea of how to really, you know, like a framework on how to really, um, you know, translate either with a vision or your startup idea into an actual product. I do think it, it gets there. Um, I mean, there, there are some um, um, very big uh, macro frameworks that he suggested, you know, like, you know, making sure you have a, a part-time job on the side uh, and all the anecdotes that he gave within those, in the, in the stories. But I do think, um, depending on when I, you know, go through the whole book, I do think, you know, there is, there is, there is still a um, missing link on um, really drilling down into these are the things you have to do. Uh, the, this is a checklist of, you know, you have to make sure that you know how to restart a company like LSC, you know, you have to, you know, and then there's one um, part of the book I read about how to pick a founder, founder right? So it's very, um, it gives you an idea of how to think of as an entrepreneur or how to have an entrepreneur mindset and inspires you to become, um, uh, to become entrepreneur-like. But I do think that, um, um, the essence of this book was, I think, probably just to inspire you to, to start thinking entrepreneurial. Uh, but I think it's missing a little bit about the, on the framework of actually translating your idea into a final product. And I, and I am assuming that maybe that was this whole, that was the whole purpose of the book. It was not to really, you know, provide um, tangible, concrete frameworks, how, actually how to translate the idea from step one to step two to actually creating or starting the business and starting making money out of what uh, you, you're passionate about or what you, int you, you intended your, your vision uh, to be in terms of, you know, creating a career out of it, creating some value uh, out of it, economic value of it. So uh, I'll give it an eight on 10 in terms of translating. No, actually I'll give it six on 10. Six on 10 because I think there's still room for, you know, um, you know, actually helping people figure out via this book, actually helping people figure out how to really translate that into uh, an economic value. So overall, um, this would be um, 28 out of 30 uh, so far, my initial take on it. Um, he's a really, really uh, um, fun and relatable author. Um, uh, he's, I think one thing that I really admire about him is he, he makes entrepreneurship in general relatable you know, and it's something that he mentioned in the book is, you know, he actually became who he is, um, you know, became as known, as well known in this field, in this literature. So, you know, it gives people, it takes off that pressure of, you know, you have to make it in your early 20s, you have to have this grandiose idea in your mid-20s. And so th that, that, uh, that story, the Guy Ray's story of just how he didn't see himself as an entrepreneur, into becoming this, um, um, you know, starting a podcast of how about this too as well, uh, kind of makes it very relatable, right? And I think um, that is that is refreshing, right? I think we always have the stories of like, you know, uh, you have to, when you're 18 years old, you have to drop out of, you know, for, for very, out of an Ivy League school to start, a, you know, start one of these unicorn companies, right? So, I do think from that aspect, it's, it's just very comforting. And I think that's I actually prefer and actually encourage more of the stories where there is this uh, long runway where you can make mistakes, you can actually be, um, you know, you actually have that time to learn about yourself, you know, pace it out, um, you know, <clears throat> and 
really, really learn more about, you know, what you're good at and don't feel pressure to really start making, you know, uh, you know making the, pro the profit, economic profit, especially, but also uh, making results that, you know, uh, as soon as possible, right? So I think he's also from the mindset that, you know, sometimes he, he, has, he has to take time and I think that that, that uh, speaks through the way he combined the stories in the book. I will highly recommend the book based on my reading on 28 and 30. And I will, uh, I will love to hear your thoughts about the book if you have read the book. And I do think uh, books like this um, are, um, you know, very good examples of where to start if you think about entrepreneurship. Um, he is someone that, um, that is someone that really understood, didn't really, you know, as he said, you no, know, didn't really have that, you know, didn't really see himself as an entrepreneur. But I do think, you know, reading a book like this, you, I think you will discover that you actually have some entrepreneurial instincts. You actually have something that uh, you can you can strive for, and it can be a very good um, um, experience for you to actually you know, think of starting your own business or just being a savvy uh, a person who actually can maximize opportunities. So that is it for me, uh, 28 on 30, uh, how I build this. Great book, I recommend you have it. Um, you know, sometimes if you can't really get the, I actually have the audio version, so you can actually just get the audio version so you can be doing something else and, and you know, reading the book. So um, thank you again so much for stopping by on this YouTube channel. You can, if you like videos like this, I'll be doing videos like this. I also do videos on finance. Um, I do a lot of videos on just interviewing entrepreneurs in emerging markets. So you can check some of those videos out on my channel and I'll, I'll do more initial reviews of, of books that inspire people to become, uh, to start thinking about entrepreneurship, to start thinking about emerging markets and just you know, have sometimes a contrarian view of, of entrepreneurship. And I'll invite you guys again, you know, um, there is a school I'm studying this weekend on how to think of yourself as an entrepreneur, how to think of yourself, personal brand, but also just how to be more, um, you know, how to have that entrepreneur mindset. So, you know, uh, check it out. It's called the Pre-Entrepreneur School. You can go to the peschool.com for that as well. But most importantly, thank you for, stopping by and I, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.